Hello all, welcome to Java session. In today's class, let us understand what is the meaning of pass by value and pass by reference with respect to methods. Okay, I will explain to you by taking a small example. Let us create a class. Okay, the class name is let's say um, some demo class. In uh, let us put it on the default package. Okay. In this class, assume that I have a method, let's say add method, okay. So this add method does not return anything. It takes two numbers, so the first number and the second number. So it's just going to print, it just prints the addition of two number. That is the first number and the second number. Okay, let me write the main method to call this add method. Since the main method is a static method and the add method is a non-static method, I can call this method by creating an object of the class. So let me create an object. Okay, created an object. Now I'm going to call this method add method and I need to pass some value that's how I want to calculate 20 plus 30 so obviously okay the method is going to add 20 plus 30 and prints the result what is very important in this is just observe here can I say I'm invoking a method invoking a method or calling a method when you call the method, okay, uh, just I use this pointer, okay. Okay, so this is the method, this is the method, and in this method, these two things are called as parameters. So the parameters are there to accept the data and here these two are called as arguments. This is called argument 1 and this is called argument 2. This is called as parameter 1, parameter 1 and this is called parameter 2. When we call a method and pass this value we are not we are directly passing the raw data the raw data or the value so this is called as pass by value I'm passing the value as an argument for a method that is when I call a method and pass the argument and the argument type is a raw data or a value this is called as pass by value this is called as pass by value okay there is one more thing called as pass by reference let us understand what is the meaning of pass by reference okay let me take you through another example for this I'll create one more class one more class let's say the class name is car okay finish and let me create one more class called as service station car service station this is also in default package okay this is a class called car and this is a class called service station so for service station the basic behavior of service station is to get the car serviced service car that's the method method name so for them to get the car serviced what do they need they need the car right when some customer or the 
client gives their car to the service station for service they are going to service the car and return the car return the serviced car serviced car right so obviously the return type is also same so that is whatever the car whatever the car that they get as an input whatever the car that they get as an input for servicing the same car they have to return it back as an output so hence the return type is also the same car okay return type is also same car clear this is the method fine now this is the car class let's say the model of the car is uh, it has some properties like uh, model model color just a simple example okay now let me write another last class class name is test class let this also be in default package okay so I'm going to test it now what do I do I create an object of car car C equal to new car I created an object and I initialize some properties like color let's say color of the car is red okay and model of the car is let's say for figo okay so this is the car object right now now I need to call the method like service now the person wants to service the car then he has to create an object of service station and call the method called service car correct so this method is a non static method hence we need to call this by creating an object of the class called service station so let us create an object of the class called service station equal to created an object of service station service station and then service station dot service the car you're calling the method right you're calling the method and but this method takes an input called car so you need to pass C okay if you closely observe this this is a reference which refers to the object where the objects are created the objects are created in the heap memory correct we have already seen this in our last class so when you run this program what exactly happens C is a reference which refers to an object which is created here the moment when you say new car one object is created class is called car with some memory location let's say 10 so of the object is created the states are shared what are the states color and model what are the values red color is red and then model is Ford Figo model is Ford Figo right so this object is created and C is not an object C is the reference we need to know this very clearly C is the reference that is object reference it is also called as a reference variable or object reference or simply the reference and please observe we are calling the method by passing the reference so now whatever the reference we are passing this is nothing but an argument correct we are calling a method called service car and by passing an argument and this is not an ordinary argument this is an argument that is nothing but a reference which refers to an object which is present in the heap memory this is called 
pass by reference that is I'm passing the reference as an argument earlier in the previous example I just passed in this demo I just passed some value these were the raw values this is called pass by value but now I'm not passing just the value I'm passing the reference so this is called as pass by reference clear that's a small example let me close this this example I'll mail you if you want so thank you that's it for this small session